Good evening. <laughs> My name is TV's Craig Ferguson. <laughs> this is the lovely Alana. Say good evening, Alana. Good evening. She's, she's from Camarillo, correct? Correct. <laughs> Here's what happened. We, uh, I was in the, uh, I was, I wasn't in the audience. I was, I came out to start the show, and I noticed that uh, Alana was wearing a very interesting pair of shoes. I wonder if we could see them. Do you see them? And I said, uh, well, they're interesting. Uh, are they Indian? Uh, well, first of all, I said, are you Indian, Alana? And she said, no. <laughs> and we laughed. And then, and I said, but your shoes are Indian. And and then she said, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> and we laugh. <laughs> and then I, I like them. Do you do yoga? No. My mom did. <laughs> when did she do it? When I was younger. Right. Did she wear those shoes? No. <clears throat> They're stylish. They are. I like them. Thank you. Is your, uh, is your mom Indian? No. <laughs> So you don't know any Indian people, nothing to do with India at all? No. So you're a fraud. <laughs> Let me put it to you, Alana, <laughs> that you are in no way Indian or even of Indian descent. <laughs> Yet you willfully wear their footwear <laughs> as if you were. That's all right, it's not a crime. Lovely shoes, actually. Thank you. You ever uh, ever think of going to India? Not right now. <laughs> well, uh, what what do you do? I go to school. What do you study? Psychology. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> Let that be a lesson to you, everyone else who's trying to avoid therapy. <laughs> well, that was a relief. I mean, escape. Um, <laughs> bullet dodged. <laughs> nice pair of shoes. <laughs> nice, nice shoes. Time for the commercials then, eh? Michael doesn't like the studio audience tonight. <laughs> Which is kind of awkward because I do. <laughs> the Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson, sponsored by Kin, a new Windows phone living only on Verizon. like that and my collar was out. I feel such a fool. <laughs> Sit down, everyone, please. Well, no, just relax, will you? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I got this message backstage that, like, the studio audience is really bad tonight. <laughs> and I come out and you're like, you don't look that bad. I mean, a little bad, but not that bad. No, you look fine to me. What are you talking about? He came backstage, he's like, oh, I don't like him. 
I'm like, what, what don't you like? Like, oh, they're surly. I'm like, surly? A cop and I think there's going to be a mutiny. And I was like, I damned if there will be a mutiny while I'm caught in a sick. If you've just tuned in, this is not, in fact, Larry King Live. What day is it today, Craig? Well, I'll tell you, imaginary friend. It is a great day for America. That's what it is. It is. It is. No, not, no, not such, not such a great day. Well, that's got that out of the way. Good night, everybody. No, it's a great day for America, not a great day for Eleanor Kagan, who the new Supreme Court nominee. She hasn't even got the job yet, and already people are criticizing her. People are saying she might be a lesbian, which personally I don't think is a criticism, but they're saying, oh, she's a lesbian. And I'm like, why? Because she's got a lesbian haircut? Is that. <laughs> Just because you've got a lesbian haircut doesn't make you a lesbian. Do we have a picture of someone with a lesbian haircut who's not a lesbian? There you are. <laughs> there you are right there. The great Liza Minnelli. Let me see it again. Yeah. She's let herself go a bit, hasn't she? Like that, yeah. Uh huh. I hear that, girlfriend. <laughs> I swear to God. Uh, anyway, uh, today, as I'm sure you are aware, everyone's very excited. It's the first day of the Cannes Film Festival today. I know. Uh, <laughs> it's the Cannes Film Festival, or as some people pronounce it, the Cannes Film Festival. <laughs> is the French pronunciation. If you say con, it really pisses off French people. So I always say con. <laughs> and then at the top of my lungs, I order, do you have any escargot and some chicken cordon bleu? <laughs> but everybody who, who matters in TV and in movies is in con right now, which explains why I'm here. Uh, this year at Cannes, uh, they're playing some big Hollywood movies. Today they premiered the sequel to Wall Street. Uh, it's called Wall Street 2, The Legend of Curly's Gold. <laughs> called, uh, Wall Street 2, Money Never Sleeps is what it's called. Which is a stupid title. Of course money never sleeps. That's like saying Regis never pays. Of course he never pays. <laughs> Not a joke. <laughs> anyway. At Cannes, they play the big Hollywood movies right next to the obscure French movies. And the French audiences have very unique sensibilities. We've got a clip from France's number one movie at the moment. And in France, this movie is as big as Avatar. It's very odd. It's, well, it, 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 take a look at this. Look. Marie-Claire, c'est fini. Je vais me suicider. Ah! Yeah. That's what it is. The audience aren't surly, they're French. <laughs> what well, I thought it was fantastic. <laughs> Finally some entertainment on this show. Instead of that loser and the skeleton. <laughs> love it. No, I love it too, Jeff. Anyway, I, I know I do love, though, I love how passionate the French are about cinema. At the Cannes Festival, if the French audience don't like a movie, they'll boo it. They'll be like, boo! <laughs> Le boo! <laughs> Which is very un-French to care enough about something to actually boo it. I thought they'd have just said, that was two hours of my life, I will never get back. <laughs> and yet, I do not care. There's a big panel of uh, judges at the Cannes Film Festival, and I'm thinking, how do you judge movies? It's very subjective. You can't compare a movie like Police Academy to a, a work of art, a real work of art like Police Academy 7. It's not the same. <laughs> and, the, and the big award uh, given out at Cannes is called the Palm Door, which sounds classy, but Palm Door actually translated to English means straight to DVD. <laughs> and the... Not a joke. <laughs> the, uh, the judges gave Roman Polanski the Palme d'Or in 2002. 2002? 2002. <laughs> no, in 2002, uh, Roman Polanski got the Palme d'Or from the judges. That was back in the day when he wanted to appear before judges. This changed his mind now. 
In 2004, uh, they gave the Palme d'Or to uh, Michael Moore, and then he returned the statue when he found out it wasn't chocolate. And... <laughs> This year, Woody Allen is in Cannes, partially to promote his new film, but I think mostly because Roman Polanski's in jail, so Woody seizes the opportunity. A <laughs> uh, little too soon, maybe, eh? Too soon ye. Uh, yeah. Hey, hey! an interesting reaction there. I was like, I was like, oh, Craig, actually, as we think about it, now, actually, we're on your side. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, some directors are having a very tough time getting to Cannes this year because of that volcano in Iceland. It's that volcano. It refuses to quit. No matter how many people it annoys, it just refuses to quit. It's like, it's like Jay Leno. <laughs> 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 Am I right, Kevin? <laughs> Kevin, where are you? I'm kidding, Jay. <laughs> what am I talking about? Cotton Film Festival. Ah, oh, I'm bored talking about that. Let's go to commercial. <laughs> I said that out loud, didn't I? <laughs> inner dialogue. Inner dialogue. Inner dialogue means not saying it, right, Jeff? Exactly so. Exactly so. Uh, finally, someone's figured out the secret to uh, stuff. Back to you, Craig. Oh, no. <laughs> I know everybody else hates it, but I think it's awesome. Oh, no. No, no. We'll take a break. We'll be right back. It's time for Gardening Tips with Willie Nelson. A benefit of gardening is the ability to turn your fruits and vegetables into delicious juices. But you can also turn some plants into biofuel. <laughs> and many crops can become ethanol, like this, and reduce our dependence on foreign oil. So whatever you choose, enjoy the tasty fruits of your garden and drink. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. <laughs> right, what was I was talking about then before the break? Cannes Film Festival. There you go. Um, and you know, the fest, it's not just a festival. It's also a, a marketplace. It's, you know, it's where you go. If, you're, if you made a movie, that's where you go to sell the movie to other, other countries. Like, you got Americans selling action movies to Europe. You get Chinese uh, directors selling martial arts films to South America. And this year, they got all the films. Like, uh, the Alana's people are really there. There's a lot of Indian films from Bollywood <laughs> this year. I know Alana's really from Camarillo, but still, it's Indian in many ways regarding shoes. <laughs> I love the Bollywood films, and they make Bollywood action films as well, like yippee ki -yay, melon farmer. <laughs> I think it's great, though, when movies cross cultural boundaries like that, but see, what happens, though, that when you get movies like that and then the, the titles get lost in the translation, this is true, right? When the movie Jaws opened in France, they changed the title, and the title in French wasn't Jaws, it was uh, The Teeth from the Sea. <laughs> The Teeth from the Sea. And the other one uh, that I remember in China, the movie Pretty Woman, uh, in Chinese they called it, and I'm not kidding, in Chinese they called it, I Will Marry a Prostitute to Save Money. <laughs> Which, if 
you think about it, Julia Roberts was in that movie, right? So they could have called it The Teeth from the Sea. That movie as well. <laughs> oh, whoa! Oh! Oh, wait, wait, let me just get this straight. Let me just get this straight. It's fine to talk about Roman Polanski and Woody Allen and whatever the hell they're up to, but the minute you even mention Julia Roberts, it's like, oh! I think Julia Roberts is a beautiful woman and a fine American movie star, and I think her teeth are entirely appropriate for her mouth. There. <laughs> but I have to warn you about things. I have to warn you occasionally in my desperate attempts to seek your approval through humour that I will say something less than flattering about, about a public figure. That's my job. <laughs> it doesn't mean I have any real judgment over that public figure. I'm just using their celebrity to crowbar an old joke into your TV. <laughs> That's my job. <laughs> CBS cares. <laughs> and it's also my job to tell you when the commercials are coming up. not my job. You probably know there's commercials coming up, um, because it's CBS. There's always commercials coming up. Enjoy all the products advertised. You're absolutely right, Jeff. We'll be right back. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. I'm sorry I was standing up there. It's just something I do occasionally when the commercials are on. I stand up, I go over to the audience, I inspect their shoes and see if anyone's wearing anything from India. <laughs> so far, only one. Uh, what time is it, Jeff? May I suggest tweets? <laughs> you may! Love it! Yeah, me too! Let's have them. Twitter. Tweets will set you free. Try Seriton. Twitter. Tweet the night with me. Check the tweets. And also email. Uh, this is from Sarah in Los Angeles, uh, California. Um... <laughs> Uh, this is from uh, Ailes in Slovenia. Oh, or Ales, it might be. I don't know. I don't speak Slovenian. <laughs> Ales says, uh, or Ailes says, Hi, Craig, what is the best way to propose to your girlfriend? In her native language. <laughs> Das ist der Rolle, aber ihr dürft nicht. You want me to wear a sweater? Uh, this is from Florian in Hamburg, Germany. Oh, good. Uh, I'll read this in a German accent. Why? Because why not? Uh, Florian says, "Dear Craig, a friend of mine and I are planning." Be respectful. <laughs> this is from Florian in Hamburg, Germany, who says, Dear Craig, a friend of mine and I are planning on taking a trip to Amsterdam, which is about 280 miles from Hamburg. We are traveling on bicycles. <laughs> what do you think we need to pack for the trip? <laughs> oh, I don't know. Boots. <laughs> Take what you took the last time. Couple of tanks. <laughs> oh, oh, wait, wait, let me just get this straight. Wait, let no. No, wait, 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 wait. Let me just get this straight. I get oohed for Julia Roberts and say something disparaging about the What's the coming ago? Nazis! <laughs> If you weren't wearing a 
Indian shoes, I'd come over there right now. <laughs> what time is it, Jeff? Enjoy all the products advertised. It's exactly that time. We'll be right back, everybody. Welcome back to the big show where we never say anything bad about Julia Roberts or Nazis. <laughs> Not a joke. <laughs> My first guest tonight is on a fantastic hit show. Everyone's going crazy about it. It's called Breaking Bad. It's on Sundays on the AMC. <laughs> I just went to the bathroom a little bit. <laughs> Please welcome Brian Cranston, everybody. Brian Oh my God! I got, I, Brian. It, I'm so glad you're here tonight, buddy, because this is one of the best crowds we've ever had. Unbelievable! I, 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 I want to sleep with every single one of you. I, wait, wait. No, I mean, may well, I tell well, you? I don't want to have sex. I just want to sleep. With you. Oh, you just want to cuddle? Yeah, just yeah. a cuddle. You know. Ever heard that before? No. Yeah. <laughs> How are you, pal? I'm good. Yeah. Uh, well, wait a minute. I have a little bit of a bone to pick with you. Uh, you know, Julia Roberts is my wife in this movie that I'm shooting r right now. Ah. And we have a beautiful love scene, and she is a wonderful woman, and in person, even prettier than you can imagine on screen. She is delightful, and I'm a little nervous about playing this role. Well, you know, don't mention anything disparaging about her. <laughs> and you'll be fine. I wasn't this being disparaging about her. That's what they called the movie when it went out in China. They called it um, the I Will Marry a Prostitute to Save Money. And then I said, well, they could have called it The Teeth from the Sea. I thought that was quite funny. <laughs> I thought that was quite funny. I didn't mean I didn't mean anything really bad about Julia Roberts, well, except I probably was making fun of her teeth. <laughs> Let's find out definitively, shall we? Julia Roberts, everybody. Oh, Julia no! you right up until that point. <laughs> and now you've disappointed them. By the way, don't mention anything bad about the Nazis. I think no. what I found out is they like French movies and, they're, uh, and they, they don't like you saying anything bad about the Nazis. So I think what they are is probably a bunch of renegade Nazi sympathizers from Vichy, France. Right. <laughs> who, who love romantic comedies. Apparently. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I, so I'm, I'm a little apprehensive about this because, you know, in Breaking Bad, like you saw that, yeah, I look more like her father. Well, you do look, would, well, yeah. you look rough in this show, but that's, uh, and, that's and meant and to be. And much older, and much yeah. older. Yeah. And so sure, I, if you want to say that. I was, <laughs> I was fishing, yeah. fishing. Um, and so I thought, you know, uh, Tom Hanks is, is writing and directing this. It's a, it's a great picture called Larry Tom, Tom. say that again? Uh, Tom Hanks. He's a young, Hanks. young, up, up and coming kind of... <laughs> You, I guarantee you, you will hear of him before. Tom before Hanks. The, yeah. Tom Hanks. Hanks. Okay. Yeah. Right. And um, he wrote and directed this. He's in. He's starring in it with Julia, and I play her louse of a husband. Right. And uh, and we have a love scene. Pants off. Oh yeah. <laughs> And, and so, so, you know, taking your lead, I have, I have trimmed down. I have lost as much weight, and I'm going to lose like five more pounds before this love scene takes place on Monday. Don't and do that, man. You look like Kate Moss. <laughs> you, look, you look fine, man. You look good. You look like a man, you know? A man's got a bit of fat I'll on him. Like a, man, a man version of Kate Moss. Maybe, yeah, yeah. maybe Pete Moss. <laughs> That's like, a, that's like a porn name, isn't it? Hey, Pete Moss. Pete Moss. How you doing? Pete Moss in The Teeth from Under the Sea. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen that one, actually. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so do you get nervous about taking all your clothes off in front of Julia Roberts? I suppose I would, yeah. I, would. I, I, yeah. 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 <laughs> what? Huh? What? 
You you better behave yourself. Oh, I, come uh, on. She doesn't watch that show. Sure she does. No. You know what? She she would love to. Has she been on the show before? Sure, about five times. <laughs> no, she hasn't. No. No. Well, no, she hasn't. Well, she, she's certainly not coming on now. Oh, see, no. This is just the kind of thing that gets me in trouble. It's an innocent remark. It was just, I didn't mean it. I love Julia Roberts. Why? She's my favorite American. Isn't she? Yeah. She, she is terrific, and, and we're having a great time. It's called Larry Crown. Put it in, in file it away and, and when see is it. it? When is it's it not going to come out. We're shooting it now. So, But my love scene with her is on Monday. Ah. And so being a world-renowned lover of women that I know you are, yeah. I wanted to, to ask, you know, advice. Yeah. You know, what, what would you do if you were having a love scene with, with Julia Roberts? Well, I'd have sex with her. You'd have sex with her. See, that's what makes you the world-renowned lover of women. Yeah, yeah, I, uh... No, well, let me finish. That's I would no, wait, wait. Sorry, I didn't finish. I would have sex with her in my mind. Yes. Before I turned up at the to shoot ah. the thing, and by at that point, I would have already in my mind been a disappointment to her. I see. I see. And then, so it can <coughs> only go up from it, there. Ah, I see. Yeah. see? Where? Oh. oh. It can only go up. Oh, it can only go up. You're a euphemism, man. Oh. Oh. Uh, I like uh, doing that. Yeah, do. Yeah, 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 yeah. It tickles. Yeah, I like Rather doing, tickles, doesn't I it? I like yeah. doing it. I like pretending that this is a squid. Uh, really? Yeah. And it's like going, eat me, eat me. Yeah, like that, yeah. Except, here's an interesting thing. You yeah. probably, a lot of you probably want to look at this because this is a kind of therapist thing. Because, because like, he pretends it's a dangerous squid, and I pretend mine is a flirty, nice squid. <laughs> like, yours is like trying to kill you. Your, your pretend squid and my pretend squid is like, I love you, Greg. I love you. You see, that's how different we are. Being raised in America, it's it's a, you're a boy and you're aggressive, and it's if there's danger and you're fighting. This right, group. right. But you're raised in Scotland. There's nothing but friendly squid, as far as the eye can see. <laughs> you know. I'm I'm Scottish too. My heritage is Scottish. Yeah, yeah, Christ. I and went to school with Cranston's. Did you? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I uh, there is actually a parish just outside of Edinburgh mm -hmm. called Cranston. And yeah, I, it's a and I was thing. there. Yeah. It was ter I, well, they didn't they didn't uh, take to me very fondly because I I walked into the the city limits of Cranston and I said, I am here. I am your king, ready to take over. <laughs> And they got upset with that. I thought it was my birthright. Well, no, what you have to do, at that point when the people of the town get upset with you, you have to subjugate them. Subjugate them, Subjugate. Them, yes. Make them subjugate. Actually, I've got an email right. somewhere from Germany. I'm going to hand it to you. That'll help you out. This it's, is a good uh, one. Yeah, you should talk to the guy that's this going the to the high school trip to Am Amsterdam. To subjugate them. To yes. subjugate them, yeah. yeah. I should have done that. But yeah, you say, I am your king, and they go, you're not our king. And you go, oh, yes, I jolly well am. And here to prove it. Ah! <laughs> yeah, you could use a tax Next squid. time I'll do that. So listen, uh, uh, we're out of time, but here's the deal. Um, you've got this uh, sex scene with Julia Roberts, or love scene, as you call it. It's a love it. scene. Love yeah. scene, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so this love scene on yeah. Mo Monday? On Monday. On we're Monday, shooting right. it on Monday. Today's Wednesday, right? Today is Wednesday. Then you figure, you figure you'll be finished with this thing Monday night? Uh, yeah. You want to call in on the show? Tell us how, how it Call went? in and tell us how it went. It was awesome. Oh, you just you know, just come by. And okay, come by. And we'll pop in and, and yeah. I'll say uh, I'll say how it went. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Could I maybe bring some uh, Polaroids? Polaroids. <laughs> I thought it, Polaroids I thought it, back in the day, kids. Uh, before <laughs> the iPod, the Polaroid is how uh, you know. And then I thought you were going to porn. <laughs> I thought you were going to say, and bring some proof yeah. that this actually happened. Bring me a tooth. <laughs> Brian Cranston, everybody. Where are you, Brian? Welcome back, everybody. Uh, welcome back, everybody, especially our friends Julia Roberts and the Third Reich. <laughs> uh, my next guest is an actress. Ooh. <laughs> Don't you ooh, I ooh. <laughs> she stars in The Office, which is on Thursday nights on NBC. <laughs> but it's good. <laughs> no, it's good. It actually is good. Yeah. Well, take a look. You'll see. 
Finally, there's a provision here in the occurrence that the child is born an old man, a la Benjamin Button. Same page. Same page. We'll Go to the next that. one. Just keep moving. Despite the provision covering whether this is all part of the matrix... Which we can't know. This is essentially... Unless we're unplugged. ...equivalent to a donor or surrogate contract. And wake up in the future. Which is actually pretty common. So, I have to tell you that this is a solid contract. <laughs> Angela Kenzie, everybody! Angela Kenzie! Look at you, if uh, I may say, in a slightly creepy way. Sort of way. Thank you. Uh, wow, you're, are you going out later? I'm not going out. I'm going to go home. But, Re really? but I, might, I might use the dress again and go out some other time. You should. It's all working very well. Oh, you know, thank you. Do you have, they're lovely shoes, but you want to try a pair of Indian shoes with that. Oh, I know. I know. Yeah. I saw that. I have to tell you, when I saw you clapping as the, the French guy, it was so funny in your monologue. <laughs> Like, yes, I have to put my hands together. Oh. It is a terrible chore. It made me want to be in that theater, though. What, like, like that? <laughs> like, like with a bunch of people being like, oh, so good. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Do you have you ever been to France? I have. Yeah, really? Did you enjoy yourself? I did. I had a really I good time. It's my country. I yeah. love France. I do. I eat cheese, you know. So <laughs> I have that going so for France, me. France, Wisconsin, France, yeah. Wisconsin. Maybe France. Right. Nothing no. on Wisconsin. No. Are you from Wisconsin? No. Have you ever been there? No. Then how do you know? I don't know. I just all of a sudden slammed Wisconsin for no, no reason. I know. See, I did that with Julia Roberts. It got me in terrible trouble. Big trouble. I, I didn't know. mean it. I like Julia Roberts, and now I'm in this terrible feud with now her. Now you're going to be in a celebrity feud, now and I'm you're going to have an open letter. Yeah, and then she'll be like, oh, yeah, no, no, and I'll be like, ah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever been in a celebrity feud? No, uh, no. I don't think I'm famous enough. No, I think you have to be really that's famous. That's how you get famous, is you get into a feud with someone. Right, yeah. I've, I tried to start one with Dr. Phil. Oh, yeah? yeah. I wanted to say to Doc, I, I wanted to start this rumor that Dr. Phil is not really bald. Really? Yeah. Well, here's my, I have a Dr. Phil impression. Okay. Ready? Here's good. That dog won't hunt. What? <laughs> right? Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. so but I sort of feel like, I feel like he has like some catchphrases that he definitely has we some should catch all phrases. try to use. No, I don't know about using them. <laughs> anyway. It, it makes me angry to talk about Dr. Phil because okay, we're, in a, talk we're about in a feud. It. Yeah. 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 I don't want to make you mad. Oh, you can make, make me mad. I can? Well, you probably could. I can, yeah. <laughs> make me a little crazy. Yeah. Are you, uh, I mean, you are looking, I mean, particularly new boyfriend, something like that? No, 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 not yeah. at all. New girlfriend? No. No. Oh. No, no, no. Oh. No, you know what? Um, I've been going to the park a lot. So. And you found a dress? <laughs> no, but I have to tell you, like, my friend was like, what'd you do today? And I was like, well, I was on the big girl swing for a while. Right. And then I went down the slide, the curly slide, which you have to climb up the monkey bars to get to. Yeah. It's no joke. I know that. It's really hard. I, yeah. get, I get a little nervous sometimes. And then, you know, I was in the sandbox, and then I walked the whole way. You have a child. We should probably <laughs> tell everyone that. You, uh, you, you weren't there on no, your No, I don't. Yeah. What? You don't? <laughs> yeah. Yes, I do. <laughs> But yeah, so I think I'm sort of like indirectly getting exercise that, you know, it's helping out. Yeah, no, you look sensational. This is so embarrassing. <laughs> Like what are talk, you talking about my park routine. I think it's lovely that you go to the park with your daughter. Thank you. What? <laughs> daughter, right? Yes, daughter. Well, it's fifty percent chance of being right. Well, I no. know. <laughs> you were gonna say midget. <laughs> Three groups oh, of people. Oh, no, no. Now it's Julia Roberts. Oh, no. Dr. Nazis. Phil, Julia Roberts, Nazis, yeah. midgets. I'm going to be... No, 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 no. no. <laughs> How are you doing? You know, I'm okay, actually. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. All right. I was all right before the show started. I really got... You got... Painted myself into a corner tonight. All I right. know it. Yeah. You're going to be, like, on, like, a number one search list tomorrow. No. Craig Ferguson goes crazy. No. <laughs> Calls Julia Roberts a Nazi. What? I did not. No. You did. She is lovely. Do you know her? No. 
You probably hang out together. All the time. Really? <laughs> we have Rita's. No. Rita's? Margaritas. Margaritas? That's what my sister Tina calls them. Your sister Tina? Mm -hmm. When she texts me, are you partying California style? <laughs> Sorry. I don't know what that is. I don't know how to party California style. Well, you go up the swing and then you go down and the swing. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, I, it, maybe it's time you uh, you should party maybe California I should. style. Maybe. I think you're, um, you look like you'd, you'd be a big hit any party. Oh, you, well, thank yeah. you. Yes. I'm a heck of a dancer, so. Are you really? No. Mm -mm. <laughs> no, I have one sort of like, remember in the 80s when you did the pony? I was kind of, ah, uh, oh, yeah. I was kind of like riding a different horse oh, okay. there. We don't, we don't have to talk about that. That's all right. Yeah, yeah. So you did the pony. You still do the pony? I'm not doing the pony anymore. Well, what are you doing then? I don't have, I need a new shtick on the dance floor. The robot. That, oh no, that, Jeff is so scary to me, by the way. Really? Yes. Oh no, you mustn't be frightened of Jeff. He's a sweetheart. I, 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 anything that sort of looks like it could have once been dead, I don't like it. Oh, no. Uh, mm -hmm. Well, he, he, I mean, he was, you know, he was once human, and then there was the terrible uh, show business accident, and... And there he is, yeah, with his blue yeah. eyes and his mohawk. Yeah. <laughs> Do you, are you frightened of zombies? Then? I don't like zombies at all. Like, the zombie movies, I'm convinced they could catch me, and then, no, and then I have nightmares. Well, they can't catch you if you go up the swing, the stairs, yeah, yeah, yeah. and go in the big girl swing. Yeah, the big girl Zombies swing. Zombies don't like the park. What is the big girl swing? Well, you know, there's the I don't know. I call it the big girl swing. There's the little baby swing where you have to, you know, your little legs go in like that, you know, and it's like this. No, I don't know what it's called. It's for babies, and they just they're like lumps, and their legs go in, you know. And we've we've moved up. Now we're in the big girl swing, which is just like a belt and you swing on it. No, this is horrible. You're doing this on purpose. And you just egged me on, like, quietly, like, tell me more about your stuff. Mm. Oh, mm. Now, if you had to pretend, Squid, would it be friendly or vicious? I think it'd be fashionable. I like it! Yeah, it'd be like... <laughs> oh, I, I love that! Thank you. Yeah! <laughs> you win. Thank you. Yay, me! Yay, you, Yay. you win. You won the squid war of the night. Uh, we're out of time. All right. All right. What? Fancy, fancy an awkward pause? Do what? Oh, yeah, sure. Fancy an it. awkward pause? Yes, yeah, all it. right then. Um, wait, wait, wait. Oh, Let me, oh sorry. Uh, I'll just get my drink ready and everything. Right. Get myself set up. Okay. Get myself situated. Get it, get it. All right. Get it going. All right, you ready? Yep. All right, hostile awkward pause? I'm just going to go with it. I'm not going to tell you okay, what I'm going to okay. do.